Alright, hold in. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get started. Um, you probably can't hear me because Gabriel's strumming right over my top. Oh. Okay, hi. So we're gonna start with just warming up a key of A practice sheet. <laughs> I mean, key of A, 12 bar blues. Okay, here we go. A one, a two, a three, a four, a one. turnaround and that means we're going to keep going okay so that we don't stop here we turn around back to the top okay here we go one a two a three a four and a starting with. So when we start with A, A is the one, D is the oops, D is the four, E is the five. Okay, so when I say one, four, seven, one, one, seven, in A, I'm saying A, D7, A, A7. It's like translating, right? This is the language that works for all keys, and then we apply it to the different keys. So, if we play this in a different key, the key of G, G for example, because G is the best letter. <laughs> okay, so then this is G. So all the ones are going to be Gs. What are the fours going to be? C, seven. C, C, right? And then this is a seven. So, does that make any sense to you? Why? Is it a C7? G is one. A, B, C is four. G, A, B, C is four. And what's the five? Um, five is D7. Right. D7. G, so this would be um, A and B would be, this is the one, this is the two, this is the three, and there's the four. But we don't need those chords in the middle. We only need the one and the four and the five. Oh, yeah. 
So let's translate the rest of this chord progression, this 12 bar blues chord progression. So this chord would be, um, I, I'm not explaining it clearly if you think it's F, so let me explain it again. So when we are changing the key, the one is the G, so that's the Roman numeral one. Every time we see a one, it's gonna be G. This is the Roman numeral four, that's gonna be C. And this is Roman numeral five would be D. So here we have another Roman numeral one. It so would be G. It would be G, exactly. And then what is that one? C7, or D7? It's a one, uh, Roman numeral one seven. A7? You're close. In the key of G, it's going to be... Um, don't just guess. If you don't understand it, make sure... Just tell me you don't understand it, and I'll explain it better. Yeah, I don't. That's fine. No problem. Okay, so in the key of G, this is... Do you understand Roman numerals? Should I explain those? Yeah. Okay, so this is one, and then two would be A, and three would be B. So M, this is one, two and three are A and B, so four is C. And then five is D. And then there's six and seven, we don't need those ones either. So in our key of A, on the sheet you have in front of you, A is one, right? And then what's the four is D7. Then it goes back to A. And then this is, what's the chord in, in, on, your, on your sheet there? A7. A7, right? So this is one, four, seven, one, one, seven. In the key of G, this is one, four, seven, one, and one, seven. What would be the one, seven in G? Not sure still, that's fine. So here's the one, every time we see a one in the key of G, that's gonna be G. That's why it's a here. And all those would be here, and there, and there. They'll all be G's, because those are all ones. And this one is a one with a seven. So it'd be G seven? Exactly, G seven. Uh, I think the sounder is like touching the Roman numeral and making it a little bit confusing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So now here is a four seven. In the key of G where is our four seven? Just have to find the same pattern, right? So the four seven, we've already seen it, is the C seven. So this is also C seven. C seven. And this is the five, D. This is the four, seven. So it's a C seven. C seven. And there's the one, and that's the five, seven, which is D seven. D seven, right. So we've just, well done, sir. We've just, we've just translated our 12 bar blues, and now we have the right pattern. It's the same pattern. It's always the one, four, one, one, and all that. But now, in red, is our chords in the key of G. So let's try playing it in the key of G. So you can follow this up here. It's going to sound similar, but in a different key. So it's just kind of having a new starting place. Can you join us, or what? Yeah. <laughs> G, 12 bar blues. Whoa. Take a look at your chord chart if you didn't need to remember C7 and G7. So here we go. A 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a G. C7.
a new starting point. So now we'll try it in another key. What? You're confusing me. Don't worry. You don't have to be, I'm not going to confuse you for long. You're going to get this. It's going to make so much sense now. We'll do another example. Gabriel's a step ahead. He saw this all last week. So if he can get it, you can get it too. Okay. So now let's do key of D and if it's the key of D, then D is the one. D. And then pretending in between here, we have E, F, this is G, G, seven. So now we know the one and the four already. Guess what the five is? Oh. What comes after G? Um, H, G. <laughs> oh, True H, but in a. music, A, right? So in music, A is, is, it comes after G. So here's our, our five. Now we can fill in the rest. Bingo, what is it? Go ahead, Joey. D. Yep. And? G7. Yes. Making sense now? Yeah. Yes. Gabriel? G7. 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 Gabriel? I mean, <laughs> Joey. D. 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 Yes. And now A7. What's this one? A7 and G7. Uh huh. D. Yeah. Right? Like, bling! Did it just happen for you? Yeah. Good. See, I told you you'd get it. Awesome. Let's play it in D. A one, a two, a three, a four, a one. starting point. Sounds similar because it's the same pattern. All the patterns are related the exact same way. This distance between this chord and this chord is the same for each key. Just starting in a different place. And when we go to the four, we're just starting somewhere new. Same distance though. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Cool. Awesome. Let's play a song. And the background of why the blues sounds the way it does. Let's play an actual song. Have you heard this song before? Do you know? Do you know? Mm, <laughs> it's gonna sound very similar chord-wise, but let's play along. So this song, so we're gonna play this. I'm gonna send you that by email. Okay. So what's the intro? Twelve bar blues in an A. Yeah. Right. So we have that. Here it is. <laughs> and then the verse one. What's the what's the chords in verse one? The same ones as the same one. thing. It's a twelve bar blues. Yeah. So it's the same pattern, but starting with A. Exactly. What do you think the chords are for verse two? Um, same as verse one. Exactly. There's no mistake on verse one. Yeah. Right. But even simpler because it's the same 12 bar pattern. Okay. So here we go. Let's do the intro. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time.
There's a song. Now, could you hear me singing? No. No, right? Uh, Why? Because um, the singing is deep. Because the singing is too low for me, exactly. It's too low of a key for me. So if I was the lead singer of this band, which I am, I wouldn't pick this key. I would change the key to something I could sing in. It's not going to be A. You ain't nothing but a hell no. G. Why don't we do D since it's up here? Okay, let's try D. So now, do you even need to look at this hound dog music? Wait, is it the same pattern as the Tom Bar Blues? And exactly. So even though you're not playing the intro, you can copy this? What do you mean copy like, this? Like, can you just keep playing? You just play this three times, right? Exactly. You're just going to play it 12 bar blues till the song's over in whatever key the lead singer says to play it. Okay? So the diva lead singer is going to say, I'm going to sing key of D. So we're going to just look at this for now. Here we go. One, a two, a three, a four, a one. sure that this is still recording okay sorry if that blanked out a bit um, okay so last key to practice this in or try this in okay so key of E okay oh my gosh I just figured something out okay so cool hold that thought so key of E uh, let's go back and forth go ahead Um, C, three, yeah. H. Wait. We don't go back to H. We don't go to H. We go back to A. A. Like singing the alphabet, singing a like really short alphabet. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, so this is A seven. That is E. E seven. So E seven. Thank you, Joey. Right, so also a good way to think of it is just one more than four, right? So B7, and then this is? B7. Uh-huh. And this is? E. E. And this is? B7. B7. Go try your B7. Yeah. 
Talk to you. That's A minor. Can we move the whole thing up one string? Yeah. Yep. Okay, here we go. E7, you know. You can just lift a finger if you want, or you can add the pinky. Here we go. Pinky? Hound dog, key of E. Here we go. A one, a two, a three, a four. A one. Hold in. 